Hey guys and girls, it's Nathan here from the Be Invested headquarters. Uh, today, just want to reach out and talk about something. It's just more of a, an observation of something that I'm seeing out there um, and something that I'm taking from this time where people are stuck in their houses, uh, martial law style, um, you know, in, 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 in you know, this society in this time that we're in. And, um, you know, a lot of people out there uh, are looking at and sharing around on social media those, uh, the, the lakes in like, Paris or whatever, the canals where, you know, they go, the water's so clear now. And uh, there's people taking photos of big cities um, and, you know, saying, look, there's no smog in the sky and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, and this is something that I'm observing from people that are just reaching out to me. Uh, friends and, and, and investors that I'm dealing with and, and whatnot, just people in the community, uh, just reaching out and saying like, you know, the things that they're realizing at this point in time. So the biggest observation that I'm seeing, uh, and it's gonna be very interesting to see how we come out the other side of this, is a consciousness awakening uh, to people's, uh, you know, enslavement to you know, the system. Uh, so people go to a 12 year indoctrination camp in order to become a, a tax slave. Um, and then they get stuck in the consumeristic trap of trying to have two cars, uh, the nice house, uh, the brand names, trying to impress people. And um, that is the trap. I realized the trap quite a few years ago. Uh, you know, am I a victim of the trap as well? I've seen, you know, how you can grow an ego and whatnot. Um, and ultimately that enslaves you uh, to the system. And the system is trying to, you know, get people so they're like constantly having to scramble and uh, and be able to you know work for survival rather than being able to live life on their terms and you know when people are stuck in a, in a rut then there's greater level of control and when people have too much time and, and, and ability to do things that they want that's where the control um, you know disappears and ultimately uh, I've been wearing the thongs and wearing the t-shirt and the, the shorts and whatnot for over a decade making these videos and you know i say things that are un pc and i say things that are very unorthodox but they come from a good place due to the fact that i don't care what the ultimate outcome is and you know a lot of people you know just have this stress on a day-to-day -day basis they stress because they have to go for a, an hour drive to work or two hours of travel on a train or a bus or whatever per day just to go to work and earn you know 500 bucks a thousand bucks 800 bucks 1200 bucks whatever per week in order to get by and um, you know this time where people are at home i think that you know coming out the other side of this people will be you know people are acknowledging going shit you know like there's a better life here there's things that i could be doing to live life on my terms and it's going to be very interesting um seeing the, the conscious shift because a lot of people have just realized they're very dispensable and um you know the jobs aren't that secure and uh you know there's a lot of pain out there on the streets um you know, ultimately you know, I, re I realized this at a young age, I was happy to sacrifice uh, 10 years of my life, which was from the age of 18 to 30. Uh, I know that is 12 years, but uh, I was happy to prepare to, to sacrifice a decade of my life, uh, to be able to work two jobs, uh, hustle my ass off, and be able to invest in the different types of financial instruments, uh, not to be, have to be controlled to a job. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna do it in the early days. Uh, fortunate enough, I was able to retire at the age of 24 in 2009 uh, in the middle of the GFC. Um, I built this business probably six months after that, um, just more out of a, a need to do something and be able to keep my mind active um, because you know, ultimately all my mates were going to university and finishing up university, getting a job or whatever the case may be. And I was bored, I was at home and uh, yeah, just wanted to you know, fulfill my life by, you know, I had an ego at the time where I was like wanting to be famous and on TV and, and sharing my property successes. But you know, it's become more of that, more than that. And, um, you know, things are uh, sort of bigger than, than me and, you know, the community that we've got is, is really cool. And, you know, the results that we've been able to deliver have been really cool as well. And, you know, just an observation uh, is, you know, as we go through this time, you know, what will we see on the other side of this? Will we see, you know, people, you know, working for themselves more? Will we be seeing people, you know, take this time to, you know, sort of improve their financial uh, education, improve their financial position, um, you know, take more responsibility on this front? Um, and that's why I see an opportunity, not only just from a business point of perspective, but just from, you know, sharing, you know, ideas, because a lot of people that over the last 10 years um, have done tr tremendously well uh, with their investing, they've built, you know, large property portfolios, 
you know, someone that's got a neutral deposit, let's say someone's got a positive cash flow property portfolio of 20 grand a year on, and they still owe $3 million worth of debt, every interest rate reduction that that person gets on their $3 million property portfolio or debt, um, you know, is an extra $30,000 per year going into their bottom line. Um, and you know, if you're 20 grand a year positive already, you get a 1% reduction on $3 million, that's an extra $30,000 a year to the bottom line. So someone that was, you know, getting 20 grand before is now getting uh, 50 grand a year now. And if it goes down by 2%, suddenly they're getting an extra 30 grand, so they're getting 80 grand a year passive income, and that could enable that person to step back in days of work, or whatever the case may be. But without having the asset base, you wouldn't you know, necessarily have the, the ability to do so. Um, but yeah, this is just an exciting time. Like, you know, a lot of people are you know, scared, a lot of people are fearful, and you know, if you're watching mainstream media being brainwashed from the television programming out there, um, I could understand why people you know, are getting so scared. However, there is a great deal of opportunity. Um, you know, if you just watch TV all day, uh, you know, watch your newest Netflix film or whatever the case may be, uh, you're gonna just go back and be entrapped in your old uh, way of life. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there self-educating themselves, uh, learning things out there, learning new skills, and being able to put themselves into a better position, whether it be to start up a new business, have that side hustle, whatever the case may be. Um, I know here, um, you know, I manage thousands of properties on behalf of investors and their portfolios. Uh, we have uh, started to uh, disperse their funds and pay their, their management, uh, pay their rents to them um, on a, a, a sort of weekly basis now. So they've got more cash flow than ever. Uh, if someone's in a fortunate position um, and they've been laid off or whatever, um, and they choose to you know, not pay their mortgages or put their mortgage on hold or whatever, that actually frees up greater cash flow. Uh, those of you that don't have that, well then, you know, you've got less options at this point in time. So, you know, it's there is great opportunities that are coming out from this. There is a lot of people that didn't think they'd be in a great position or, you know, may have, you know, fell into a victim of a position which has, has hurt them financially. Um, but having alternative options, whether it be a side gig, whether it be a side job, whether it be a side business, um, you know, whether it be investing into property, whether it be investing into um, other financial instruments, um, that has sort of given them you know, the ability to, to not just function, but to take advantage of the markets that we're seeing here. So yeah, just interesting observation, right? We've got the skies that are clearing up, we've got the waterways that are clearing up, we've got people's mindsets. Some people are getting poisoned from, you know, bad programming out there, and some people are getting, you know, inspired and, and educated and skilled up to be able to you know, take the next level of taking uh, you know, personal liberty and freedom and being able to live life on their terms. So the question, the challenge for you is, where was your position before you came into this uh, you know, situation and time? Uh, what is your thoughts and processes now? Who are you gonna be on the other side of this? And what opportunities do you see um, that you can actually you know, put yourself into a better position in life? Because I believe it's going to be a whole mass awakening of people going, fuck, I really never liked my job. I don't want to return to my job. I don't want to look for a job. And the whole nature of the landscape could be very, very different in the years to come as we have an uplifting of people that want to you know, work for themselves, create their own movements, create their own businesses, and uh, create a bit more um, ability to, to live lives on their terms. So yeah, if you need help, got questions, whatever, uh, feel free to reach out you know, if you are in a you know a bit of suffering at the moment, um, you know, and and got you know bad thoughts or whatever the case may be. Uh, feel free to reach out, uh, reach out to the community, reach out to myself, reach out to my team. Happy to have a chat with you guys to help you you know be in a better position. So thanks for reaching out and thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay safe and uh, make sure that you make the most of this opportunity. Bye for now.